Chapter 13, in which we get to the root of the matter. Jack Frost's many homes were scattered evenly across Earth, all of them inside the hollows of large trees. Each was the offspring of Big Root, and these children of Big Root were often the oldest trees in the forest where they grew. They had all been planted soon after bright night by Twiner. Twiner himself came from a willow called Warrior's Willow, which stood on ancient Viking burial grounds. From its branches, Viking warriors and hunters fashioned the strongest and most flexible bows, staves, and arrows. The warrior dead were buried among the willow's roots, and each limb was said <clears throat> to have the spirit of a warrior within his heartwood. This spirit could help the person who wielded it, but only if that person were brave and true of heart. Jack's staff was his friend, his comrade, his protector. It would alert him to danger. It could focus Jack's power to speak to the wind and learn the language of leaves. On this particular day, in a forest near the Isle of Ganderly, the trees saw something that worried them. Two men were making their way toward Mother Goose's home. The trees of many lands had been watching these two since they had begun their journey from the jungle of Punjung Hai Lu. But the trees had waited to send out warning to any guardian until they felt a genuine threat. These two men traveled by car or train or boat when necessary, but they preferred to travel by tree, swinging from branch to branch when possible. Thus the trees discovered that these men had once been, and now knew they meant ill. They knew that, or that's what these men had once been, and now they knew they meant ill. They knew that Twiner must be sent an urgent message. An old enemy is near.